One storyline to watch is the odds of live golfers who are competing. Because of the negativity surrounding the live tour, many bettors in the market have been fading the names you see here, and that's created an opportunity to find value. So to help us understand the landscape heading into the Masters, we bring in Colin Wilson and Jason Sobel. Jason, the champion's dinner was last night, and of course, a number of former Masters winners who are also now associated with Liv were there. Do you think there could have been some awkwardness, and is the negativity surrounding them in the betting market justified? Yeah. So first of all, Maria, I tried to get in. I was almost in the door, but they just, you know, they cut it off right before I could get in there. But uh, from all reports, no, they all had a, a good time. There was no animosity. Some of the live uh, players, including Phil Mickelson, were actually very quiet during the dinner. Phil is known for being a little boisterous during that dinner in previous years, but he was not this time around. As for the live value on the board, yeah, I do believe that because a lot of people, the public believes that these players aren't playing quote unquote real golf anymore. They've only played three events on the live tour so far this year was PJ tours played what 12 events already uh, because of that, because they're only playing 54 holes because they're playing in shorts with music playing in a shotgun format that they can't any longer contend at a major championship. We're going to find out about that over the next few days, but sure. There is a little bit of value on the board as far as the live players are concerned. Well, Colin, I'd love for you to expand on this. And I know you are high on a live golfer to perform well in this tournament. That's Dustin Johnson. So what is your whole rationale? Yeah, I mean, Dustin Johnson is the most talented live golfer out of there, the one that was just born to play golf. And I think here you're getting a great number at him going top 20 at minus 110. This is a guy that's not only won the Masters, but six of the last seven times he's come to Augusta, he's finished tied for 12th or better. So when it comes to a prop of, you know, top 20 at minus 110, it seems like a no brainer. And the real argument is, is are these are these live players going to be in form when they get here? And you see there's been a progression with DJ from Mayakoba to Tucson to, to Orlando. His numbers have gotten better and crawled up the leaderboard. He only had three bogeys and three rounds in Orlando. So, you know, he's he's had better than average scrambling numbers, which you have to have at Augusta. So I will take a DJ top 20, basically, you know, a pick, a flat number here on a guy that's won this and always finishes tied 12th or better. I'll take it. Jason, is there someone that jumps out to you that you like to not necessarily win, but finish near the top? Yeah, so Maria, first of all, I'm going to go off the board here and tell Colin that I, I like DJ. Patrick Reed is my favorite live player this week. I, I like the fact that Patrick embodies and embraces everything that Liv is trying to be. He doesn't mind being the villain, doesn't mind wearing the black hat proverbially and trying to be the bad guy out here this week. It's Augusta National. There won't be any booze from the crowd, but you know kind of everyone's rooting against these guys just a little bit, at least the majority are. And so Patrick Reed, he thrives in these situations. He'll puff out his chest wearing a four aces hat and go out there and play some good golf. So I do like him to be the low live player. As for a prop play that I like, Sunjay M isn't getting that much respect in the marketplace. I have believed for a, a while now that he deserves it as at least as much value as a, a player like a Will Zalatoris or a Victor Hovland, maybe even a Xander Shoffley or a Colin Ma, uh, Morikawa, but he hasn't won as much as those other players. Those wins are coming. He's got three or two top tens in his last three starts here at Augusta National. I like him for another top 10 at plus 300 this week. 